I just went to the School of Public Health to meet with uh, one of the concentration advisors. We're required to have one meeting with her before we can write our essays and declare online through the portal. We fill out our plans for what courses we're gonna take um, and how we're gonna fulfill all of the requirements. I thought declaring my major would be a really big deal, but it's really not. Hello guys, I have not vlogged in public in so long. It's around 10.30 in the morning today and I'm headed over to Car House for a budget meeting for visions and I'm late. That's Car House. I'm back on campus. I just finished up with the meeting. Um, it's around 12, so I just ordered some poke. I'm waiting on that. I know the foolishness you feel inside when all that you want just disappears no one can tell me how to live my life i got i'm currently not 100 percent sure on what i'm going to be doing this summer or where i'll be i'm either going to be back home in california or i'm staying at brown um so right now i'm sending out some emails to professors hopefully i'll get a response usually people just don't reply so i'm actually pretty pleased about rejection <laughs> All right, I just ate my lunch. I'm walking over to Main Green to Solomon. I'm presenting a slide on behalf of Project Let's at a CS lecture. Mental health around this time of year is really important. Uh, previous building block to form a new block uh, the Esther Vaughn, which uh, grows. Um, everyone close up. Okay, yes. My eyes okay, are ready? Open your hand. <laughs> <laughs> This is perpetuating my problem. <laughs> but now you're sustainable. <laughs> Bye. Okay, okay, I need a little clock. Kat, we filmed a video on what we like and dislike about Brown and we also did a Q&A for my channel and I'm feeling kind of lethargic and just like out of it right now so I think I'm gonna hit the gym before my next class at 6.40. I have bio materials and then I'll try to get in some work. And later tonight I need to figure out what courses I'm gonna pre-register for. Tomorrow is pre-registration. I have to wake up at like 7.50 to sign up for my classes for next semester. So yeah, I'm going to hit the gym. There ended up being way too many people at the gym, so I just hopped on the treadmill, ran two miles. I'm gonna shower really quickly and then head over to my next class. Yeah, the weather's actually really nice today. And I'm meeting up with Emily for dinner after our really long class, so we're gonna eat dinner at 8 p.m. I'm going to eat a sea bar. Day-to-day -day college life isn't that exhilarating. There are a lot of times where I just feel kind of meh. And honestly, that's okay. I think there was a period of time this semester where I was kind of like obsessed with the idea of always being happy or always having a really good day. But in reality, that's just not sustainable. I've learned experientially that it's better to just take it a day at a time, be mindful of how you're feeling and to like non-judgmentally accept the way that you're feeling. Wow, I don't know why I just started talking about all of my feelings. I would say this semester especially has been one in which I've learned a lot about myself personally. Being flexible has been really hard for me because I'm someone who always feels like I need to stick to a plan and just check every box off. Just learning to be okay when things go wrong and not taking everything so seriously. Now that my eyebrows are done, I think that's about it for my life rant and I'm going to look over some slides. <sighs> this happens at least like five times a day.
I don't know how much context I've given, but I'm going to biomaterials for my next class. The class is really interesting. It's about surgery and surgical implants, as well as the biomaterials that are used and why they're used for certain procedures. Um, it's currently 6.39 p.m. right now and my class is at 6.40, so I'm consistently late to this class. My calves. <laughs> oh my god, it's Emily. She's only been on the vlog one time before. This girl's thinking about taking Orgo 2 and CS15 at the same time. Those both are like 15 to 30 hours a week. I want to switch from pre med to CS. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. No, I'm like dead serious. I want to consider it. Bro. Oh, that's like me last year. Get on my face. <laughs> Follow my Insta. What's your Insta? I made your Insta for you. I literally made it for her. You can see yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a fucking egg. <laughs> We're currently at BB. Shout out to the cashier. Like, she wants to do the best. That's me. Bought a free one today. <laughs> What time is it? Nine? It's nine exactly p.m. Nine. And we're going to Bears and Holly. Twilight's do... better. No, it's not. Yes. I'm wearing a hoodie. It's not too cold. High feast. Bro, are you gonna take a uh, Chem 500? Inorganic? What the fuck? No! Apparently, Harvard and Hopkins require it, but look at my good like I'm gonna go there. We'll is see. That necessary? I don't know. I feel like I'll just take it. I need to finish writing my paper for this is some quality club. <laughs> I know this is why I don't vlog because my life is so boring. Like no, it's so interesting. I love it. People will be like skateboarding across <laughs> campus and so I'm just out here like studying. Oh, <gasps> I forgot to use my reusable straw. <gasps> Not sustainable. I don't think so. <laughs> She drinks it anyway. <laughs> Andy's not here. I know you guys miss her, so let me show you some cute pictures of her. He's so cute. Oh yeah, this is my jewelry holder that I bought today. Guys, listen to Blackpink's new song. <laughs> what? Slide into my DMs, people. <laughs> She asked me how do I study for orgo, but as long as you understand like why electrons are moving in certain places, then you're fine. Yeah. If you get confused as to why something is happening in a mechanism, then you need to study it more. Is it possible to get above the 90? No. <laughs> oh my what? god, no. Do you think, it, is it possible to get a 90 on orgo? Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I was told our last exam was like a 60 or something. No, I forgot what it's called. Oh, cancer biology? Take like an fMRI class or something. fMRI? Take like a... a Ooh, wait, class. I actually really want to take a neuroscience class. I really wanted to take this class. I have to take these three classes as part of... These two are for public health. This one is for pre-med. English, because I need something for pre-med. Also, I heard the professor is really good. And I'm really interested in cancer biology. But I don't know if I'm going to get in. There's only three seats. The only way I'm going to get myself to do work is if I, if I time lapse it. <laughs> Let's go. It's Jennifer. Guys, I'm here. CS is always like a grind, but I mean, we're getting Oh, give there. them an update. Where are you going to be this summer? I'm going to be in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm going to like be working as an explorer intern at Microsoft. Yay! Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah, you know, you know what you should I hope you guys are doing well. I feel like the warmer weather and the sunshine has really improved my mood. And it's also insane that half of college is over, but also I'm 20. And I'm not ready to be 20. That's how life's going. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, for that life update. <laughs> okay. okay, Michelle's gonna describe to us her nighttime so ritual. I boil water 
and then I drink a cup of milk and then I brush my teeth and I wash my face and I do my skincare routine and then I put water into my diffuser and I put oil into my diffuser and then I clean up in my room kind of it depends on how I'm feeling usually I don't it's do not clean <laughs> sis <laughs> okay I need to write this paper I've been working on my research paper and writing about autotelic personality. How some people have a greater tendency to achieve flow state in which they're sort of like in the zone and how that sort of impacts their health compared to people who are more prone to uh, burnout and stress. Sort of the direction my paper is going in. I'm just walking home now. It's about 1 a.m. I hope you enjoyed following me around on this normal Tuesday in college. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!